2022 Pro Day in the books. Lane Hurt here with Jermaine Johnson. Jermaine, you put in all that work at the Combine. Today was about the bench press. 27 reps right on par with the other elite defensive ends. Your thoughts on the performance? Uh, I thought I was, I was aiming for 30. Um, hit a little bit of a wall. Um, but, you know, the goal is never to be on par, right? You, you want to, you know, separate yourself. But, you know, look at the next goal and attack that one. But it was a great experience. I was out here, you know, pushing my guys and cheering for my guys, motivating them. And, you know, it's just like we're at practice again. So I enjoyed it. You know, I'm blessed to be here. And, you know, I'm blessed to be able to have teammates uh, like I do. I know you said earlier is about what you put on, on tape and you put a lot of great stuff on, on film this past year. What do you think the scouts have been seeing when they go back and look at Jermaine Johnson on film? Uh, a problem uh, in a good way. <laughs> uh, no, I just, you know, I really just play hard for, for the other 10 guys around me and, you know, all my other teammates. So, I mean, whatever comes of that, it is what it is. But, you know, it's, it's bigger than me and I, I truly do try to give it out, give it all for everybody. I know you don't pay attention to it, but you've gone from at the beginning of this whole process of being a fringe first rounder, maybe second round guy, to squarely in the first round. How big of a role do you think maybe the senior bowl helped play with that and, and getting up and close personal with the scouts there and allowing them to see it and then go back and take an extra look at the film? I think it played a big role. Um, I think I think the NFL or, or you know at least the personnel they wanted to see me do it against elite competition and. You know, I kind of had, I went into it with a chip on my shoulder and, you know, so I could do it uh, against the best of the best. And, you know, I look forward to doing it at the next level as well. How exciting is this this time for you? As, I mean, the, the workouts are now out of the way. Next up, you know, there's probably a few meetings as well, but th that draft is coming up now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all surreal. I, it hasn't really hit yet because, you know, I'm just knocking down obstacles or goals and, you know, next step, next step, uh, next step. But, uh, I'm sure it'll hit uh, sooner or later, but um, like I said, I'm just blessed to be here. All glory to God. What is the next step for you? Uh, just uh, go on these team visits and, um, you know, head out to Vegas and, you know, live the experience. You chose to wrap up your career here at Florida State. What is one thing that you learned either on the field or off the field that you really take away from your experience as a Seminole? It's bigger than you, and you live right off the field, and you, you make sure you're a good person, and you make sure you, glor you glorify God, and, you know, he'll handle the rest. You know, control what you can control and everything else put in his hands, and, you know, thank him by glorifying him in, in everything you do. And, you know, that's, that's really all that w it was this year was just, you know, serving something bigger than myself and, and glorifying God. You've mentioned how much this means to your family and how – what this experience will be like but for you what is one thing on draft night that Jermaine Johnson is really looking forward to uh shaking the commissioner's hand and then uh looking good <laughs> there you have it pro day in the books next up it's the NFL draft hopefully it will be a big first night for our man Jermaine that'll wrap up things for now for Jermaine I'm Lane Gonals.